we finished with the orbiting sander to remove the rust and soften up the edges of where the wet sandblaster removed the rust. Now uh, Viant is just removing all the dust. There's quite a bit of dust that accumulates when you use the orbiting sander and you just need to remove that before you paint. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. You want to get that wash? So I'm going to get the paint set up and mix it up so it's all nice and mixed up. From there. A few years ago, we decided to quit the rat race and venture down a completely unfamiliar path in life. We sold almost all of our possessions, renovated a camper van, and toured the U.S. looking for a piece of land to start our journey. After almost two years, we found our piece of paradise in the Pacific Northwest, and Pacific Pines Ranch was born. Follow along as we chase our dreams to build an off-grid shipping container home and to see our projects and adventures along the way. As we like to say on the ranch, the joy is in the journey. That seems good. <laughs> we use a marine grade zinc epoxy primer for the first coat of paint. It's specifically designed to withstand the marine environment and since we live in a very corrosive area, it's perfect for this application. We only want to paint the areas that we refurbished and that have exposed steel, which is why we didn't paint the entire side with the primer. Eventually, we will paint everything black with the top coat. <laughs> I bet as the video progresses, you can see how dirty we get working. All right, so we just finished up for the day. My aunt, the best worker, Thank you. finished the paint. You look like brand new. Professional painter man. <laughs> Anyways, here's the finished product. Still have to go with the top coat. Right now, this is just the primer, but it's looking pretty good. We're happy with it. We finished before it's dark, which is rare for us. <laughs> After the side will be completely black because this is the side that you will see there next to that container. So once we get a f another opening of nice weather, we will go ahead, paint this black and then continue to go on this container, preparing it to go there. So, until next time. So yesterday we weren't able to finish the paint, so we covered the doors with this plastic to protect them from moisture and hope that they aren't too rusty, so let's go take a look. And it looks like it worked really well, perfect.
So now we are going to prepare the doors to be painted, wipe off any of the dust or anything that's been there since yesterday, and go ahead and put the first layer of primer on. The air spray gun is great for small areas and areas with a lot of sides or hard to reach angles because it's really easy to control the amount of air and paint with the settings of the gun. done. Violent he is a super hard worker. So let me go and show you how they look. One more step closer to being able to drop this guy over there. You're still an effective team. We're great. Never better. Another day of paradise out here on Pacific Pines Ranch. Today we are going up on the roof and we are going to go ahead and process the roof, move, uh, remove all the, the rust and do the first steps to get the roof painted and get the fourth container ready to, to, pl to be placed. So here we go. So continuing forward. 
Viant, he is blowing off the dust and all the little pieces of the wire brush wheel that came off while we were grinding. Like you can see right here. So we just have some of those around. So he's over there kind of preparing everything to receive the first layer of paint. So after he's done, we'll go around, finish grinding the C channel on the bottom, and then whip out the paint and get painting. So, we just finished, it was a really, really long day for us, so it's all done, happy with how it came out. Viant went up there, covered the roof where we grinded away the rust with the epoxy. Same with the bottom C channel. So everything's going well. Just working away little by little. So as you can see, the rust is removed and the first layer of paint is on. Looking good. So as I've mentioned before, this is the marine grade zinc epoxy. Since we live so close to the ocean, the ocean is right there, it's really important that we weatherproof these containers against the salt and the humidity here. In the northern Pacific, the weather is intense, so, <laughs> so yeah. That's why we are going to such measures to protect the steel of the containers because it's the base of our house and I don't want anything bad to happen to it. So, even though they're made of Corten steel, the corrosion rate here is insane. Even uh, stainless steel can rust, so depending on what uh, grade it is. So yeah. That's why we are so crazy about removing the rust and giving it another layer of paint to protect it against Mother Nature. Another day out here on the ranch. Nice day today gonna take advantage of it and paint this side of the container black so we got this crazy machine out here the airless sprayer really efficient works really well the only downside is it's kind of complicated to set up honestly I think it's gonna take longer to set it up than it is to than it's gonna be to paint this side <laughs> But it does a great job with the coverage and the finish is amazing. So it's definitely worth the time that it will take to set up. So on we go, another day working hard to achieve our dreams. I 
If you're trying to paint a large area super fast, this airless sprayer is where it's at. I'll include a link in the description to this one that we're using. We've had it for a few years now and it's pretty awesome. It works really well and it isn't too expensive. This is just after we finish painting, which is why the paint is so shiny. When it's dry, it will have more of an eggshell or matte finish. All right, so we just finished. It literally took not even 10 minutes <laughs> to paint the whole side. There it is. Pretty good. Yeah, oh god. It's so uh, pungent, the paint. So now we will take the steps that we have to do to put everything away and. Okay. Yeah, and clean uh, the airless sprayer. Really, really important to clean everything after that you use it, like very well, because otherwise the paint will dry and it will not work. So now the cleaning process and after moving on to the next step. Another beautiful day out on the ranch today. We are going to set up the paint to paint the final layer of paint onto the doors. So we got everything here. We got the acrylic top coat, all of our painting gear, everything like that. So we're just going to go maybe mix the paint up a little bit get all of our gear ready, and start to paint. The acrylic top coat is a resin-based marine grade top coat and is an excellent paint that resists against corrosion and the marine environment. Our containers range from 14 to 18 years old and the paint is still good in the areas where the container hasn't been damaged or scratched, etc. So it holds up extremely well against the salty ocean air.
So today we are going to set everything up to paint the container with the final layer of paint, the marine grade acrylic top coat. So we're gonna paint the roof, paint the sides, and if we have time, go ahead and go underneath the container and paint the bottom. So Viant's over there, well, he was over there, <laughs> uh, using the air gun with the air compressor and just removing all the little dust or pieces of dust or things like that that have went onto the container overnight. And now we're gonna grab every, all the equipment, all the supplies, set everything up and get started. So we finished painting the roof, everything went well. I can't go up there right now and show you yet because the paint is still drying, but when it's dry I will make some footage up there to show you how it is. Everything went well, the airless sprayer is, uh, wow, if you want to paint something fast that's the way to go. So now we're going to work on painting the bottom sea channel and the spots on the corrugation that just have the primer. And after that, if we feel like it and we have energy, we're going to paint the bottom of the container, all the sea channels that run perpendicular to the container underneath. So, here we go. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other social media pages. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on the ranch.